Welcome to the Big E. This is a place where we explore, we experience, and we enjoy our life. If you're not, what do I say? Change your experience. Change the way you're treating someone. The fastest way to go from a bad day to a good day is change the way you're treating someone, whether it's at the grocery store, at work, it could have been your cat or your dog. The quickest way is to change exactly that, your action. Today I want to talk about what are the faces that you show the world. What are the faces that you carry with you? Which faces do you show and which faces do you hide? I wanted to look at my life so I could do this in a, in a good example. <clears throat> in my life, perfect situation was about a month ago, I had a gentleman, I'm on a dating site, and I had a gentleman that wanted to come through town and stop in my lovely Ashland and say hello. So we did, we met for coffee, uh, we visited for about an hour and a half. And because of how I felt about him, I really liked him, you know, I was just me, but I'm kind of always that way anyway. But I was me, I was vibrant, I was exuberant, I was excited, uh, you know, resonated with him, good looking, we laughed together, we were having a wonderful time. So I showed my best side, I guess. I was real, I was honest. Is that my best side? I think it's the side I always show. I try to be honest and true now. I don't want to have faces that I hide and they come up, you know, down the road. But I was, I was having a wonderful time. I was myself. I'm a very energetic person. I'm also a person who sees more than most. So I was talking that, you know, and, you know, sharing with who I am and what I see and just kind of being me. Well, maybe in this situation, I should have put on a cautious face. Some of the responses I got back after he left and went home was, he asked me, are you a raven? And I w said, what do you mean? And he goes, do you see everything? And I went, no, but in my life I do, yes. The other thing that was a little disappointing, maybe because I was so exuberant, so excited, I don't know about you guys out there, I really don't, but he had shared a message that he was a little disappointed that I didn't invite him to sleep on my couch. Wow, that one surprised me. I'm not that type of person. <clears throat> I want to get to know someone. I want to create a safety with someone where they accept me. And most of all, they like me because the liking will create a platform of friendship. Friendship takes me all the way down the road. I really do want, a longe lo want longevity in my next relationship. So I'm very particular and very picky. So that one kind of surprised me. So maybe I should have put on my cautious face and not been so, I don't know. What are you going to do? What I choose to do in my life is show who I am. If I surprise someone by the way I talk, sorry. If I kind of shock someone the way I talk, get over it. I'm just being me. I don't want to curb, trim, or shorten or change who I am. So what are the faces that you show to the world? When we're in the workforce, I know it's very different. We do have to conduct ourselves, but things will always come out. Say you're angry or unhappy in your relationship at home. When you're at the office, this face will kind of sneak out. It will seep out just a little bit in the way you snap at someone, the way you're quick, the way you're frustrated and, you know, just a little anxious about maybe someone talking to you. Maybe they talk too much. You need to talk more. There's ways that other faces will show themselves, whether we like it or not. It's just how our human nature is. So what's the best thing to do <clears throat> with me? I've been going through a situation in the last couple of weeks that I actually have chosen to go back to therapy for a while. I think it's a maintenance tool. I love it. I need a tune up. So I'm going and I need to look at the situation. But what I'm trying to stay clear is the face of honesty, my truth and kindness. These are the aspects 
that I know I am. But to keep that face in the forefront, I need to make sure I'm managing and doing my best, not doing things maybe to trigger this situation, this other situation, not to maybe get a, sometimes when we get frustrated with someone, we want to kind of dig in a little bit and we do these things unconsciously. Those are faces of mine that when someone hurts me, I try to put on a good face and forgiveness and all that, but the other face is pissy, is frustrated because in some ways I haven't handled it there and then. That's the dynamic I'm trying to change. When we don't handle a situation in the moment, we put on a face of, oh, I'm fine. It's all good. They're nothing. It didn't, it didn't bother me. It didn't affect me. When we put on that type of a face, again, the face that wants to be dealt with in frustration and you piss me off or you hurt me, that face will show up in very slight, very sneaky ways. So to be careful, always understand the face that you're wearing when something happens. It can be a sad face. Oh God, I'm not an actress. Should I should do a sad face, a sad face. It can be a happy face. I'm okay. We're good. All right. That was fine. It can be a f face of you just screwed me over. You piss me off. It can also be a face of guarding. When I get cautious and I guard, I watch. I become a watcher because I have to make sure that I keep that person at a certain distance so they don't hurt me again or they don't get rude to me. So I'm a watcher. I'll watch you. If I ever give you that face, you better back up because I'm watching you. And if things continue, I kind of watch you and I just kind of back step and I back my step my ass right out of the whole relationship. So it's the different faces we show. <clears throat> The one thing I do want to say is when there's pain, if someone's hurt you, you find yourself getting angry, somebody's hurt you, something touched you that caused that anger, that frustration, that pain, put the face on of truth. Look at it. Try to handle it in that moment in a loving way face. Put that face of love on, but going, okay, I am not accepting less than, but I love you talking to me. I love me, but I'm not accepting less. So you and I, we need to have a talk. What you just did hurt me. I don't understand where you were coming from, I, but I wanted you to let you know that that really hurt me in that moment. How'd I do? That was my face of truth. That's a hard one to do for me. Oh, that's what I'm working on in the moment. Not a face of, what should you say, later than, shit, should have done that before. Or, you know, that face of, oh crap, I waited too long. I want a face of, in the moment of love. So that I don't get angry. So these things don't eat at me. And I get a face of, I'm pissed off. And anyone in front of me, I'm going to hit you. I'm just going to smack you because I don't have time for you. I need to deal with my own shit. It's these places that we don't handle. <clears throat> and so the face of love and compassion eh, kind of gets run over because everything else starts to amplify. It starts to build. And God bless the face of love and compassion. <laughs> it's on the bottom rung. So to know where we're at, how did we feel, and to handle it. When you show the world only a face of love, compassion, and I'm okay. It's a beautiful thing if that is your truth. I have seen many people that will put on that face and I can see them and in all reality, maybe they need a friend, maybe they need an ear to bend, maybe they need to just cry a bit, maybe they just need to kind of be a little bitchy. They choose not to. There's a thing that said, fake it until you make it. I see a lot of people do that in the Zen spiritual um, world that we've created over the years. And it's a good place to be, but don't dishonor yourself to where you put on the face of a fool. Do not fool yourself the best that you do not accept or deal with or look at 
what you're going through. Do not wear the face of a fool too long. It can hurt you. It can debilitate you. It can cause disease, a dis-ease in your body. And this is where the sickness begins. So just love yourself. Be honest. Also remember, in this wonderful spiritual um world, we're not here to do it perfectly. Why? Because we chose the human condition, the human form to do it in. And it is not perfect. It has its ups, its downs, its yeses, its noes, its highs, its lows, because that's what it is. That's what we have to know. Being in the spiritual aspect of this journey, we have to accept the form. Understand that it's giving us all its diversities. Putting on that face of, all right, okay, fine, I accept it. All right, it's good. I think putting on that face of it's going to be okay as the body and this journey goes on we don't have to take it seriously but we have to allow it we are in a physical form on a physical planet doing a physical journey and it has its quirks it has its moments it has its edges it has its places but it doesn't mean I have to react they do not have to trigger me. So my face of, all right, we're here. Let's do this thing, is a place of, I'm going to enjoy the ride. But I won't let it make me less. I will not allow it to keep me small. I will not allow it to keep me in fear. This is my happy face. This is the face that I'm showing you. Now I've got other ones, but this is the one that I'm feeling in this moment because in this journey, I've accepted the ride. I've accepted that it's got to be in the physical way, in those paths, in those turns, in those unexpected, in the beauty, in the community, in the embracing that the body loves to do. It's all of that. So I accept that. That's my love face. I can do that. I love me. I am good. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be on this journey. So <clears throat> going back to what are the faces that you show the world is how I introduced the show. I'd like to turn it and say, what are the faces that you wear? Can you feel them each individually? Do you know where you're at? Do you know what you're giving? When you have a face of anger and rage and you give that face to society, to the world, to your partner, to your marriage, to your family members, to your cat, to your dog, that is the faces that will be, you will see being reflected back to you. Those are the faces that you will create in front of you. And then lastly, I'd like to close with, do not wear the face of a fool. Do not fool yourself so well that you get lost in your own shit, your own darkness, your own smallness. A lot of the people sometimes that I see are the face of, I'm all right, I'm fine, I got it going on. Now there's a bit of an edge, there's a bit of an uh, anger, there's frustration there. The face of a fool. Stay clear. Wear all your faces. Put them all on. God, if I had masks, I'd wear them and we could just switch them out depending on our mood, right? Okay, today I'm in a smiley face. Oh, maybe tomorrow I feel like a little prudence, you know, and have all those wonderful faces. We'd clearly know it. Oh, okay, I'll talk to that one. Nope, uh, I think I'm going to go over here and talk to this one instead. It'd be so clear. It'd be so wonderful that we just step into whatever face we want to wear. And yep, that's where I'm at. It's kind of a neat thing to see. Some of us like to hide our faces. Some of us believe that we're shielding ourselves for our protection, for our self-care. And in those moments, I understand 
I do a quieter face, maybe a more simple face when I do self-care, which has been like the last three or four days. It's been crazy. I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know if it's the season. It is what it is. So I allow myself to slow down and have that more somber face. Sometimes I have the face that has tears. Those are my cleansing tears. Those are my like, oh my goodness, can I please get out of this energetic? I am going through a bit of depression this season. It's like, oh, please. So I have a, a face of tears that I put on. I cleanse my soul. I cleanse my form and I move on. But I allow the face. I like to embrace them all um, so I can be a little real. I call it real. I'm realism. <laughs> I am real. So those are my faces and you'll see them. I do like the, my face of laughter though. I love that one a lot. I love to wear that one. Oh my God, I love it. And I appreciate you guys sharing. What are your faces? Are you hiding faces that maybe you should show? Are you packing away and stuffing in the back of a closet a face that you don't want anyone to see and you think you're hiding it? What about bringing it out? What about expressing it? It can be scary, especially if it's a little on the dark side. But if we can show our faces and be true and honest to who we are, Maybe we can begin to heal and take our mask or our faces off and just connect. Lift ourselves up. Don't play small. If you're trying to hide, run, believe you're shielding yourself from humanity, from the world, from government, from the mad people, you're fooling yourself. You're playing small. That's a dangerous place to be because that will eat at yourself and you can die a little every day. Put on your faces. Let's explore. Let's have fun. Show me your faces. Show me and send me pictures. Oh my God, wouldn't that be awesome? Send me pictures of your faces. I would love to see your expressions through your life, through your day. Please share with me. I'd love to hear from you. I've also opened up for private sessions, for counseling and for readings. And also, if you'd like to have a conversation with me, reach out, uh, interact with me from my website, from my email address right there. Connect. Let's talk. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I am sending you love always.